Welcome to this video. Are you interested in why your vehicle diagnosis displays P1692? How is the error code interpreted by the vehicle? What does P1692 mean, or how to correct this fault? Today we will find answers to these questions together. Let's do this. First, let's look at the history of diagnostic fault code composition according to the OBD2 protocol, which is unified for all automakers since 2000. We divide the electric system of automobile into the four basic units. Powertrain. Body. Chasis. Network. This distribution is defined in the first character code. If the second character is expressed as zero, it is a standardized error. In the case of numbers 1, 2, 3 it is a more prestigious expression of the car-specific error. The third character specifies a subset of errors. The distribution shown is valid only for the standardized DTC code. Only the last two characters define the specific fault of the group. Let's not forget that such a division is valid only if the other character code is expressed by the number 0. Our website airbagreset.sk produces useful videos for you. You do not have to go through the OBD2 protocol anymore to know how to troubleshoot any car breakdown. You will find all the diagnostic codes that can be diagnosed in a Toyota vehicles. Also many other useful things. The following demonstration will help you look into the world of software for car control units. You unbelievably can move the video a bit further. The error code is split into two bytes consisting of 16 bits. One bit is the basic unit that each computer works with. The bit has two logical states. 0, low level. 1, high level. By combining the first two bits, the basic character of the error code is expressed. The next two bits again determine the second character. The last bit styles of the first byte define the third character of the code. The second byte is composed of a combination of eight bits. The first four bits determine the fourth character of the code. And the combination of the last four bits defines the fifth character. A single byte conceals 256 possible combinations. We now know in what way the diagnostic tool translates the received information into a more comprehensible format. The number itself does not make sense to us if we cannot assign information about it to what it actually expresses. So, what does the diagnostic trouble code P1692 interpret specifically Toyota car manufacturers? The basic definition is sensor cluster signal out of range. And now this is a short description of this DTC code. Case 1 Lateral Acceleration Sensor Signal Offset The measured lateral acceleration is monitored if the vehicle is standing still Vehicle speed LT 10 km per hour A failure is detected if measured lateral acceleration GT 0714 G is continued for 01 sec A failure is detected if the absolute value of the calculated lateral acceleration sensor signal offset is higher than 01734 G for 7 milliseconds Case 2 Lateral Acceleration Acceleration sensor signal plausibility constant speed without turning driving. A failure is detected if the difference between the reference signal and the sensor signal, GT051G, is continued for 05 sec maneuvers with variable speed and steering. A failure is detected if the difference between the reference signal and the sensor signal, GT112G, is continued for 175 seconds. Case 3 Your rate sensor signal offset the measured your rate sensor. A signal is monitored when the vehicle is standing still a failure is detected if the absolute value of the your rate sensor signal is continuously higher than 20 degrees s longer than 01 sec or higher than 10 degrees s during the last 50s before vehicle drive off a failure is detected during vehicle drive off if the difference between the measured your rate sensor signal and the latched signal value during vehicle stand still is higher than 13 degrees s a failure is detected if the absolute Absolute value of the calculated your rate sensor offset is higher than 6 degrees s for 7 milliseconds case.
case 4 your rate sensor signal plausibility constant speed without turning driving, a failure is detected if, the gradient of the measured sensor signal, GT 540 degrees S and, the difference between the reference signal and the sensor signal, GT 10 degrees S are continued for 025 sec, a failure is detected if, the gradient of the measured sensor signal, LT 540 degrees S and, the difference between the reference signal and the sensor signal, GT 10 degrees S are continued for 05 sec fixed radius constant speed driving, a failure is detected if, the gradient of the measured sensor signal, GT 540 degrees S and, the difference between the reference signal and the sensor signal, GT 13 degrees S are continued for 025 sec, a failure is detected if, the gradient of the measured sensor signal, LT 540 degrees S and, the difference between the reference signal and the sensor signal, GT 13 degrees S are continued for 05 sec maneuvers with variable speed and steering, a failure is detected if, the gradient of the measured sensor signal, GT 540 degrees S and, the difference between the reference signal and the sensor signal, GT 53 degrees S are continued for 025 sec, a failure is detected if, the gradient of the measured sensor signal, LT 540 degrees S and, the difference between the reference signal and the sensor signal, GT 53 degrees S are continued for 175 seconds. This diagnostic error occurs most often in these cases. Faulty lateral acceleration sensor faulty your rate sensor faulty HECU. The Airbag Reset website aims to provide information in 52 languages. Thank you for your attention and stay tuned for the next video.